Okay, so the luck I have here now is a it's a five pin and it's a Vero. It's Italian on the one side it says patent or patented there and then it says inside there so that must be the inside the door maybe and then that's the exterior um part. So keyway isn't nasty at all. You see, pretty wide open. So I'll pick this side. Show that it works. There we go. Okay. So because the keyway is fairly open. I will tension over here so that leaves us lots of room and by the looks of things I'll probably try to pick it this way because there's more flop that way this way seems to be not cooperating much anyway so let us let's get this a go so one, two, three, five, three maybe, four, five, yeah. Okay, one seems solid, two seems all right, not doing anything, three is giving us counter rotation, four, Five. So back to one, nothing, two, nothing, three, nothing, four, click, five. Okay, I probably overset something. So, because I think I overset something, I'll just take the pick and drag it out. Here we go. So, dropped back into a little false set. Now we just have to find the counter rotation or not. But it clicked click on four there I think and dropped into a deeper false set. Nothing three two nothing. Just lighten up a bit. Feels like two. Three, four, five, maybe if I touch five. Oh, ah, there we go. So you can see that the cam is not turning. That's okay. I'll just put my long end of the tensioner in there. Try not to just try and pick that cam up if I can. There we go. All right. So it feels like we have some spools going on inside. <sighs> Just for our fun, I want to see if there's any difference on the other side. Since it says inside, will there be spools? Will it really make a difference? Does that mean the inside of the door? Um, Inside facing, I don't know. Let's just give it a shot anyway, see what happens. <clears throat> Again, just to focus the camera. Alright, let's turn it a little bit. Three. Yeah, I got a bit of a false sit, so there's definitely something going on. Okay, 
Number two. <clears throat> Three, four. Try and get the false set back if I can. Just rake over the pins, maybe we'll get something. Maybe not. Just try one. One is loose. Two. Three is, seems to be loose. Okay, I think that was five. Just gonna try a slightly heavier tension in case there's some grit or something in there. Make it more difficult for the pins to wanna set or whatever. There's another one. Counter rotation. He's now overset, so I'm gonna let off tension and just try and rake him back. Now he's loose. Two loose, three's loose, four is loose, five. Five is the binder. It's just it's gonna push against the back there. Now yeah. one's loose, two's loose, three, click four, click five. One click, two click, three, four click, five. Okay, so I'm going to try a different pick now. Let's just see what happens with our, our bogey. Drag it across the pins. If I can. Make sure it's in frame. Uh, not, uh, not working the best. Probably are some security pins inside. But I want to try this though, and then we'll call it quits. See, I'm just rocking the L rake up and down. Varying my tension a bit. There we go. So, I could rock it open there with my L rake. Or city rake using the rocking technique. Yeah, even though it has spools in it, that is that. So, yeah, that's a Vero Euro cylinder with its five pins. Don't see any drill protection or snap protection, just a standard cylinder. Alright, thanks.